Hello friends, this video on ecosystem part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us try to understand what do we mean by productivity of an ecosystem. Now before we talk about ecosystem, what do we mean by productivity? We often say that the productivity of this person is really good. That means this person is really able to do good amount of work. So productivity is nothing but the output coming out of something, whether it is a machine's productivity or it is a person's productivity. So it is all about the output which we get from an individual or a system. So let us try to understand what productivity is in terms of an ecosystem. So what is productivity? It is the rate of biomass production. So productivity is output. So what is the net production of an ecosystem? Now, before I talk about anything related to productivity, the first question that I would like to ask you is, who do you think is responsible for the production, for the word production in an ecosystem? the producers right because producers are the only ones who can actually produce the something without anybody else's help because other than the producers both consumers and decomposers they are also dependent on producers so basically they cannot produce anything out of their own so when we talk about production we actually are talking about the producers now, what do we mean by rate of biomass production? So in a particular ecosystem, so if I talk about a forest ecosystem, so how much of biomass is being produced? What is, uh, what do you mean by biomass? Bio means life and that means the matter which is being produced out of life, that is called biomass. So how much amount of energy or how much amount of food is being prepared by the producers of that ecosystem that is determined by productivity so it talks about the rate of production that means in how much time how much amount of food is being prepared because all other organisms are finally dependent on the producers so the producer should have really high productivity only then it will be able to support the other uh, animals or other organisms existing in that ecosystem now you can think about it in this way. So let us suppose that in your house, your mother is somebody who is responsible for preparing food. So the productivity that comes out of your kitchen, so the entire food that gets prepared in your house, it comes from your kitchen, right? So the total amount of food that comes out of your kitchen is the productivity of your mother. So in a very similar way here also the house is nothing but the entire ecosystem and in that house the kitchen here is the producers who actually help with the process of production. So how much amount of food is being prepared with respect to time that is defined in productivity. So how do we measure productivity? It has specific units for that purpose and the unit is mass per unit surface or volume per unit time. So that means how much of volume, how much volume of the product is being formed in a particular period of time. So some of the units of productivity which we normally use is grams per meter square per year that is gram which is the unit of mass per meter square which is the unit of area or volume so how much mass of matter is being produced per unit volume or surface per unit time so in how much time so this will define the productivity so similarly it can be also measured in gram per meter square per day on a daily basis we can use this or it can be denoted by kilocalorie per meter square per year so these are some of the units which are used to measure productivity so now we will talk about primary and secondary productivity now just now i was telling that what do we mean by productivity it is nothing but the output which or, or the output which comes out of uh, the different biotic components in the uh, ecosystem now the maximum output has to come from the producers because they are the ones who are directly involved in the process of production however since all other animals whether it is consumers or decomposers they are directly or indirectly dependent on producers therefore some sort of productivity comes out of them as well 
So let us see what is primary product productivity. Now where, wherever you have these terms primary and secondary. So primary will always refer to something which is at a lower level or the base level and then secondary will be something above that. So that is how we have seen in case of primary consumer, secondary consumer, again for primary carnivore, secondary carnivore. So the same logic will apply to primary and secondary productivity as well. So primary productivity is the amount of biomass produced per unit area over a period of time by plants during photosynthesis. So the primary production, as I mentioned just now, primary production is handled by the plants because they are the producers. So the major bulk of biomass is being produced by the plants. Now, what is biomass in case you are not sure? So bio means life and biomass refers to uh, anything in the biological material which is derived from living organisms, which is derived from the uh, carbonaceous living organisms and it is used as a resource for making energy. Now this food which is produced by plants as a result of photosynthesis, what does that food do? That food is in the form of glucose and it provides energy to the plants and when these plants which contain contain energy in themselves are eaten by other animals that provides energy to those animals right so similarly those animals which have who have eaten plants so they also contain some energy inside their body so when they are eaten by a uh, higher carnivore so that energy get transferred to the other animals so that is how the energy get transferred from one animal to the other so primary productivity talks about the amount of biomass which is produced per unit area per unit time because that is how we measure productivity productivity is always in units of amount produced per unit area per unit time by plants during photosynthesis so there are various factors on which primary productivity depends now some of them are plant species of a particular area now some plants might be able to produce more biomass per unit area per unit time so it really depends on the species of plant so one type of plant might produce more biomass some other type of plant might produce less biomass so it depends from species plant species to species it also depends on the nutrient availability now it is something like the more nutrient is available to the plant the more active the plant would be and the better photosynthesis will take place and therefore their productivity will also increase so it is it is a very simple logic for example if you talk about a, somebody a person who is very healthy now when why a person is healthy because maybe he has sufficient nutrients inside his body and that is why we call him healthy and when the person is healthy he is more active and he is able to do a job in a better way so his productivity is more so in a very similar way in case of plants also if nutrient availability is good if good amount of nutrients are available to the plant they are able to give good productivity so nutrient availability is another factor which decides primary productivity third is environmental factors now under what kind of environment is that plant existing now let us say if there is lack of sunlight so in absence of sunlight the plant will not be able to undergo photosynthesis so the productivity will also reduce or let us suppose that if there is too strong sunlight and there is lack of water so the sunlight is too heavy too much of uh, sun too much of heat but at the same time there is lack of water so in that case also the productivity of the plant will not be that great so these are some of the factors based on which decides the primary productivity of a particular area or a particular plant now what is secondary productivity i hope you would have guessed it by now if primary productivity is something which is coming out of the producers so secondary productivity is going to be something which is coming out from the consumers so it is the amount of new biomass which is produced per unit area over a period of time by consumers now as i said these consumers will feed on the producers so if you see a goat or a, a buffalo or a cow or a human being so they all feed on the uh, producers directly or indirectly so they also will produce some new biomass because their body will also contain some biomass which in turn will act as a resource for producing energy 
So this is this productivity from all type of consumers is known as secondary productivity because it is at the next level. So the base level is producer. So the base level productivity is primary productivity. So the productivity coming out from the next level that is the consumer is called secondary productivity. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.